Cardiff University's School of Mathematics has been applying mathematical modelling to help the NHS in Wales increase their efficiency and effectiveness. The project has seen them embedded in the health service, creating an ongoing dialogue which is both innovative and a global first. We tend in the health service to measure our demand by the length of our waiting lists and the numbers of referrals. But actually that doesn't tell us very much about what we need to supply, it just tells us the numbers. Healthcare systems tend to be stochastic and by that I mean that they operate in an environment of uncertainty and variability, often at large scale and as kind of complex connected systems. What we need to know is what people's needs are and how urgent those needs are. And what the modelling team are able to do is help us to describe that much better. So for example, imagine planning the hospital behind me, hundreds of patients each and every day, each with varying care pathways and needs which have to be met in a timely and safe fashion. And we can build models which capture the complexity and the stochastic aspects of a system and move them towards the most effective healthcare provision for the patients they serve. Working between the university and the health board has been a great way to apply some of my mathematical knowledge to a real life problem. I'm working with managers and clinicians up front to see the problems and develop creative solutions with them has been really exciting. Using our models can literally save lives. For example, in one hospital, our tools were used to completely redesign the services offered to stroke and trauma patients to maximise the, the throughputs in, in a timely and safe way. That resulted in a reduction in mortality of stroke by 60% and in trauma by 55%. Strengthening our relationship with Cardiff University has been great for us as a university health board. But I think in terms of our organisation, the innovation and the support that we've been getting from the modellers to understand data, to use data and to be able to interpret data has been absolutely brilliant and there have been lots of benefits to us as an organisation in doing that. And we're actually doing it now for urgent care so it's enabling us to think much more carefully about how we respond to that and respond to it in innovative ways rather than continue to do what we've always done before. So we've developed a national set of training courses in collaboration with the PENCODE group in Exeter and we've already trained over 200 um, healthcare workers in the NHS in a range of Excel, modelling and statistical skills. Mathematicians on their own can't solve the problems and the improvement practitioners need the mathematical modelling to help them understand and therefore make changes within our service to respond to that benefits for them, benefits for us as an organisation and enormous benefits for our staff in terms of being able to get the support, expert advice, tuition, training and helpful advice on techniques and uh, how to present data has been really good. We're not aware of an embedded unit of this nature or this scale anywhere else in the UK and possibly worldwide. It's rare now that we do anything without um, asking for it to be modelled. The success of the project has been uh, better planning for the organisation, better analysis and much better decisions are made as a result of the, of the input of the mathematical modellers.